New Mexico received its first shipment of remdesivir in May. Tonight, News 13's Jessica Gatate takes a look at whether that antiviral drug is helping COVID-19 patients in our state. This was the big, you know, excitement that there's finally something that may actually benefit these patients. Dr. Michelle Harkins at UNM Hospital says the earlier you give COVID-19 patients the antiviral drug remdesivir, the better. One of the large studies from the NIH, they looked at over a thousand patients, and the patients that got remdesivir uh, had a shorter hospital stay by about four days and it trended to improve uh, mortality. Most COVID patients at UNM Hospital are prescribed it. The only reason that we wouldn't get it is if uh, their liver function uh, tests were markedly abnormal. So is the treatment working on patients here? It's hard to say. Um, I think that when we start uh, things early, people do better, but this virus is, is very unusual, and sometimes just when you think everything is going well, a patient will enter this secondary phase called cytokine storm, and it's, they get a fever and uh, have worsening respiratory status. Dr. Harkin says they inform patients remdesivir has not been FDA approved, but was released for emergency use. This is not the cure by any means, and it's not the solution, but it is, it's our first indication of something that might help patients have a shorter hospital duration. Dr. Harkin says the next step is to look if remdesivir mixed with another drug could be the answer. UNM Hospital has been invited by the National Institutes of Health to help find out. Looking at remdesivir plus or minus another agent, a placebo or an agent called baricitinib, which is an anti-inflammatory drug uh, that is used typically for rheumatoid arthritis and trying to prevent the overwhelming inflammation that occurs with COVID-19. She says it's an honor for UNM to take part in an international clinical trial. We bring a unique uh, patient population that may be underrepresented. Jessica got it at KRQE News 13. Dr. Harkin says the state's Department of Health allocates remdesivir equally to all major hospitals and says they have plenty for routine patient care.